Welcome back to another Guardian Tales video in Havenhold Tower 60, excuse me, 46. I think the max level they've added recently is 55, so it'll be a while until we get to 60, but... Whew, here we go, this is right after um, we did 45, which was super, super difficult, oh my goodness. So, no idea what to expect. We will see. What's really cool about the Havenhold Tower is that you spend energy... Oh my, what is this? <laughs> you spend energy to unlock the level. You don't have to spend energy every time you try the level. And I like that a lot. Let's hit some of these chain skills. Uh, our Aoba died immediately, because that's what she does half the time. She totally came through for us on the, the level 45 kill. And I can't be too mad about that, but whatever. I could actually exit out right now and uh, start everything up and I wouldn't lose that energy because the level's already unlocked. Whoa, what is this? What is this level? Okay. <laughs> this is like a nightmare for AI. Can I just stand here and take this? Oh, no wonder I can't use this chain skill because he died. This is weird. This is weird. Bop, bop, bop. Popping off. I'm taking no damage, but my team is taking a ton. What is that about? I kind of like how the like the caskets follow you around, whatever. Um, but I think it's cool that they they teach the caskets to stay at the door when the battle's going on, just to reduce a little bit of clutter. I guess that's just a little bit of RNG healing there. Probably means that this next battle is going to be difficult. Okay, doke. Yeah. This is a problem. This is a fun map. We're walking away from a chain skill. We totally missed that opportunity. We're gonna die. Okay, this is good. Hey, chain skill there. The chain skill made me stand still. So that feels bad, but we can just go back to starting point. Start the whole thing over. Hopefully Aoba doesn't die in the first two attacks. But hey, sometimes she protect. Sometimes she get attack. I don't know how that saying goes. But let's get down here and hopefully I can take at least one of these laser beams out. Boom, there's that one. There's a lot of stuff over here. There we go. Aoba's chain skill can chain off of anything. Same thing with Marina. So it's kind of useful for knowing if you want to rope a bunch of chain skills together. Hey, she's alive. Look at that. Amazing. Let's start trying to take out some of this. Get some shields up from Marina. I wonder if I fight up here if I can make these guys aim upwards. Oh, Marina, don't die, baby girl. Yep, she died. Oh, AI is so bad when it comes to these little totem things. It feels, it feels bad. But on the bright side, you know, they can get away with uh, bad AI teammates if you can retry the level repeatedly. I can't be too mad about that. Nari gives 10% crit with her chain skill. These little witch guys hit super hard. And one of ours is dead. Why would you run that into me? Just die. I kind of feel like this is the last, the last uh, fight. That could be wrong. But you guys can figure out what I'm trying to do. Take that out. Agma, just stay alive a little bit longer. He died, I don't get his chain skill. But I think this is okay. Last time I was doing a chain skill and I got stuck and then I got hit by that attack. So it wasn't good. Let's go there. Bop, bop, bop. Okay. And then these guys are kind of. Well, I think they do three attacks in a row, three melee attacks in a row. Not the first time we've seen that. Who? We? There we go. There we go. Oop. I'm happy that there's no timer here. But there we go. All my caskets are going to creepily follow me. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. Of course, there's more. <laughs> I'm actually happy there is. Give me some more content. This is the last one. Nari's gonna show you what she does best. 
Although if the green thing goes off, we die, I think. Nope, he did interrupt my weapon skill. No, that's pretty bad. Can't kite the green thing, so I should just be attacking this. I think, what hit me? What even hit me there? All right, one more time. One more time. Hopefully, Marina does not run in. I should be playing Marina on this, probably. Um, there's a lot of enemies here. Yeah, so if, if I lose this time, I'll play Marina. Her AoE skill is super strong, and, and then chain skills work really well off of it. So I should be playing her. And they have improved, they said they've improved Nari's autopilot. So we'll see. We'll see how, if that's anything meaningful. Bop, bop, bop. I want to max out Nari. That's, that's like my second. My number one goal is to get um, Bari, get her going. And then um, number two goal is to max out Nari. And then we'll be happy there. Max her weapon, 71. Everything else, just max, max, max. She's super fun to play. Um, who knows? I might be taken in by whenever I get a chance to play Bari. But my team is healthy at the moment. I like that a lot. <clears throat> oh, there we go. This is the healthiest we've been so far, so you're seeing some progress. Bum, bum, bum. Let's hit all the buttons. Because, of course, let's hit all the buttons. I feel like a mosquito just got my elbow. I hope my weapon skill goes up instead of down. This is where it's really easy to lose teammates with the laser beams. Bro, just get out of my face. Get out of there. This little Hellboy looking dude is cramping my style. I gotta get one of these out. And we do. I missed all the chain skill opportunities there. But somehow, some way, we're still alive. There we go. We hit the healing thing. The heals go off. I really like the animation on the heal there, that little like uh, green teardrop <clears throat> coming down in the team. It gives you enough info, gives you the timing of the heal, but it doesn't really put too much visual noise, which is kind of a problem that this game has. I'm going to try to somehow, some way, get into the middle dude, start taking out the tower, and it looks like it's happening there. This is the last one, super easy, I don't know why I struggled in the first couple attempts, but whatever. It just all ha oh they spawn more. I like I like the surprise. They've been doing really well with surprises. Usually surprises are either annoying or not surprising, and this is neither. Aoba does fall, but I think she took us far enough. And it's not like we're doing Camazone where we just have to uh, keep everybody alive. Oof. You got, what is this? What is this? This is concerning. Am I just, what? The hell? <laughs> Ever celebrate too soon? Oh, no, 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 we need to have, um, let's try a Marina. I never played her. So if we ever get through this loading screen and these mosquitoes would stop tearing up my forearm, I'm literally inside, leave me alone. I don't know if we can do that. Maybe somebody left a window open. What's going on? We gotta, we're gonna investigate. We're gonna investigate. Wow, that's really bright. Haven Hold Tower, let's go there. I don't like that you have to go all the way out to lobby if you, if you wanna do that. Instead of just going back to whatever screen. No, everything's closed the way that it should be. All right, all right. Click on that, and then let's go. Sometimes that also happens too. Sometimes you try to click on the thing and it gets messed up, but all right. I'm not a big fan of playing Marina, but she is insanely strong and there's so many enemies here <clears throat> that I need AoE damage more than single target. I also think if I had a Bari here, I think her attack is a big splash attack. And with um, Nari, what happens is her attacks try to hit single target and if that target dies, a lot of her attacks just fly off into nowhere and do nothing. So she's really good against single target, like Arena, but in um, a messy fight, she kind of struggles. So hopefully this is going to be better. Also, I got to plus one my Mari weapon. 
fairly recently. Right, what am I gonna do here? Boom. There we go. I don't know why the chain skills just flash for a second. Am I doing a lot less damage? I feel like I'm doing less damage. Tried to get the heal off, but it was just only there for a second. I think it works. Really good heals coming out. Speaking of heals, we need something. There. Yeah. Marina's broken. Marina's just better for a leader on most teams. Just because her weapon skill is just AoE and it's completely busted. I can't pull these towers together, which would be super cool. But I can understand why they would not want that. Yeah, good god, Marina's so broken. Like I said, um, even though I'm eventually planning to take her off of my arena team, I think that she is just such a strong hero that she will never be a bad move to invest in her. Can I just stand in here? Can I just stand in here? I mean, look at that. Although, Nari's still doing a bunch of damage, even though I'm doing AoE, so... I don't know. Please, I was hoping the heal would be ready. Heal is not ready. Well, I was able to pull her in. I wonder if I can pull the up. Uh, yep, yes, we can. And now the heal's coming down. Oh, maestro. She's too good, dude. It's funny, I feel like Mari is broken, but I still wish that her anchor skill would pull heroes in instead of just doing damage. We're going to wait for two seconds. And there we go. And then look at that, look at all that AoE damage, boys. Look at that, it's just, that's just dumb. Bros. What do you know? God. Nari's still amazing, still my favorite hero, but that's just ridiculous. Such a well-made character. I mean, obviously because she's broken, but... I got my weapon skill interrupted there. We're pulling everybody in. I need to pull this girl in from the corner. Not exactly what I was going for, but good enough. My god, it's such a fun hero. Healer is dead. There might be another wave. If they can spawn a second wave, they can spawn a third wave. You know what I'm saying? There we go. That's the pull that we needed. Ogma kind of doing nothing. What are you doing, boy? We got interrupted there. I thought it was already cast. We need to move out of that. Can't be too sloppy. But I kind of thought my weapon skill was already casted. And... Oh, I was hoping for another wave. Even though another wave probably would have killed us. We we got sloppy at the end. That was really fun. Holy smokes. These levels are amazing. Wish I had more energy because uh, more coffee. We'd keep going, but man, amazing game, amazing level, I'm loving it. And they've added uh, more levels up to 55, so now that we got past 45, which is a massive, massive sticking point for me, I wonder how far we can go. We're just waiting on some energy, so maybe tomorrow that's what I'll be doing. And the rewards from this stuff is really good. Look at all that. Look, you can see how far it is. Look at that. A 45 five-star upgrade hammer. Gold and coffee and all those other things. 100 gems, 500 gems. I kind of wish a little bit more gems. There is a event going on right now. I'm lagging. Um, there's an event going on right now. Where do events live? Here. Anytime you get a new patch and a new event comes out, you always want to come out here and check all these things. So the challenge nodes, these have not been added yet, and this will be added in like six more days. So. Typically, I've only been playing for like a month or maybe two months now. Um, each event I've seen is two weeks long, and then after one week, they release the rest of the event. So I've already finished everything because I'm going super try hard. And one week later, the challenge events will come, and usually those are pretty difficult skill based, and you kind of need to have some specific heroes most of the time, or half of the time, I think it's fair to say. But you get some more rewards there. And um, tomorrow I'll do the level 60 event rift with three heroes. I believe I can do it. Um, I should have checked here when the event first came out because I had to go back and do the level 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 events with uh, two heroes and three heroes. 
um, to get those little rewards, but I actually do want idle Eva shards, so I'm happy with that. And then use a bunch of stamina, that's pretty straightforward. But the reason I'm showing this is because um, maybe you have some free gems or whatever, and you're doing some pulls or whatnot, and you're wondering, do I pull weapon? Do I pull hero? Well, this one gives you rewards if you pull heroes. And since I like to do my three 100 gem hero pulls every day, and there's 12 days left, three times 12 would be 36. So I will be able to finish off the first one of these. And if I want to finish off the second one, which is a pretty good value, it's a lot of experience. Um, hero crystals are really important and legendary waking stones are really important. So I might try to scrape up a bunch of free to play gems and do um, some pulls if possible. We'll see, that, that's gonna take a lot of free to play gems. But anyways, yeah, so we'll see if we can do it, but the reward is, is quite good. Anyways, as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Look forward to more Haven Hold Tower videos. I think what I'll do going forward is I'll just film them, and if it's like a puzzle or something, I won't post it, because I don't want you guys to see puzzles. I want everybody to figure that out um, on their own. But if it is like a boss or something or interesting content worth watching, then I'll, I'll end up throwing it up on the channel. And if we ever get past the orbital lift, level 300, then um, you'll see some content there, pro most likely. All right, boys, I appreciate y'all for watching. Check out, probably the next thing I'm working on is the floor 10, working on the boss for Camazone. Peace, fellas.